Hi everyone, my name is Ted Tesfin, and today I'm going to show you how to adjust and set your sway bar. Okay, so first thing you want to do is make sure your suspension is free, and as you can see I've already taken the shocks off, and the next step is going to be loosening the sway bar off, so you can check each arm individually. Loose both, both sides off. And then I'm going to loosen these off as well, just so it's, it's too loose, so it's flopping around like this, and then you can go and make sure each side is free, make sure it's not bound up because that will affect how the sway bar works and your suspension works and that's not good. So, so first thing I'm going to do is set the sway bar in low mounts here. Make sure it moves side to side free, up and down free, but still has a, a little bit of play. And slowly tighten these grip screws till you can feel it kind of get tight where it'll hold up like this, like it's binding. A little tighter, there you go. So if that's too tight, so I'm going to back it off just to where it moves free. And I'll go to the other side. And go till it's too tight again, so it sticks, and then back it off till it's free. So then it can move side to side a little bit, and then it's free this way. And then I'll reconnect the sway bar. I'll push in, or I'll tighten them so that they're uh, vertical to the arm. So after that's done, I'm going to check from side to side. And how you do that is you lift up this side and you can kind of feel the tension and then take into account how much gap is here to feel the tension to when this side starts to lift up. So that's about, about that far. And then you go to the other side and do the same. And this one is pretty even, but if they, if they aren't even, then you'll want to, like say this side lifts up and it goes a lot higher. So you're going to want to make this side, unscrew this so it engages the, next, the other side sooner. And some cars, you really, really have to do this too. Uh, like this sway bar is pretty straight, so you don't have to do that. Um, but having that off really can affect your car's handling. Um, when you have it set properly, you're gonna, really going to notice the consistent side-to-side -side roll of your car. And it's just one step closer to being a perfect car. So, Okay, so just for an example, I've now made this uh, link one millimeter longer. So now this, we this uh, hub comes up a lot less than before. Whereas this one comes up a lot more now than before. Um, so that'll be, that's uneven, that's just an example. So now what you want to do is, when, if say if your car, if you lift your hub up and it comes up this high and the other side comes up very low, um, you're going to want to shorten the link that th is on the low side. That'll bring them closer together. And if you ran this car like this, uh, it would feel very stiff when you turn left because this, this sway bar would be engaging very soon. Um, and then when you turn right, it would feel very soft and that just makes for a very inconsistent feel around the track and it's going to make it harder to drive. So this is one of the things that is overlooked by a lot of people um, but if you do set it properly it's going to make a big difference for you um, and it's going to make your car be a lot easier to drive and more consistent from race to race. Uh, so hope you liked the video. Uh, thanks for watching.